Good evening guys, welcome to another Juicy Vlog. This is a bit of a different video today. This is a little bit of an update video. Um, we've been out with some friends this evening in BGC in Metro Manila and since we've been at dinner, we've been up for some food. Um, you'll see that very soon in another video, but we just wanted to quickly share some information with you guys because the whole evening we've been receiving messages from a lot of our viewers, from some friends, um, with some information on what's going on with the coronavirus at the moment in the Philippines. Um, as you guys know, recently there's not been cases here. There's been one person that died here from Wuhan um, in Manila Hospital in Makati um, from Wuhan in China. But since then, it kind of went a little bit quiet here. But since then, there it went kind of quiet. We didn't hear of any cases here at all. We're obviously looking on the news every single day on our phones. Um, and it kind of went quiet. And then in the last couple of days, it's been around 20 cases that are positive here all around different areas in Metro Manila. Yeah. Um, one in BGC, literally like really close to where we are living. And then this evening, it seemed that the president has put a ban as of two days from now on, was it the 15th? Yeah, but it's been quite confusing this evening. So yeah. we wanted to make this video to try and look through a couple of news articles together. Yeah. And because like, for example, eight hours ago, no lockdown order in Manila. But I've got more recent news that then, says there's a yeah. lockdown in two days from now until middle of April. Yeah, two hours ago, Metro Manila to be placed on lockdown. So guys, we're trying to we're trying to figure out uh, what actually is going on. It looks like the lockdown has been confirmed. So I've got information here that says it's for 30 days effective of the announcement, which is today, so until the 12th of April. Um, I've got other things saying that it's two days from now, so people have got a chance to get out of Metro Manila if they need to, um, and then it's a month from then, or 30 days from then. So yeah. it seems that the president has, so I've got something from the World Health Organization Philippines, President Duterte's red alert level to code red level two in the Philippines. He's also announced that the whole Metro Manila will be put on community quarantine, land, domestic air, and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila suspended. So no one's in, no one's out. Everyone's on lockdown. Um, you can't you can't drive out of NLEX, we've heard. Um, so you, you're on the road and apparently cars are being stopped from leaving. Um, guys, yeah. comment below if you're right on this. This is only people messaging us, telling us this, yeah. and us seeing things on Facebook, on the news. We're doing what we can to try to research this, um, to share this information with you guys, and obviously for us to know what's going on as well. Yeah, um, we're doing our best here, but it's kind of confusing because there's yeah. some conflicting information. So we want you guys to use the comment section if you are in Manila, or if you're not, if you know more about this. Or if you're some, someone that knows like insider information yeah. on you, this Please use the comment section to, to share what's actually going on. I've got here rappler.com, Metro Manila to be placed on lockdown due to coronavirus. Uh, updated just now. Yeah, at so least that's 12, what I saw. Yeah, March 15th to April 14th. At least 12 million people in Metro Manila will be barred from traveling outside the national capital region. So I went to the shops earlier to get some stuff for our friends coming here earlier on this evening and people were like rush buying and buying like dried noodles and pasta and pasta sauce and uh, water, toilet roll, that kind of thing. Um, people seem to be kind of panic buying in the shops. So it's kind of making us feel like we should be doing the same. Um, and thinking yeah. that we need to be preparing for this a little bit more, but I, I We're not gonna go out and buy a ton of stuff because it seems unfair to buy to try and buy a load of stuff and then not leave any for anyone else. But we've mm -hmm. got we've got hand sanitizer. I guess it's just following the safety advice and the health advice that has been put out on yeah. online on Twitter, on wherever it is. Yeah, exactly. Hand sanitizer, wearing your masks, washing your hands, not, not touching no your contact eyes. with, yeah, touching your face, um, no contact with strangers, stuff like that. It's the basic stuff for a virus. Yeah. As far as we know at the moment, there's no cure. But I did hear that people are being paid $3,500 to be infected and to try and be cured, which is well, that's crazy. Well, yeah, that's a whole nother conversation yeah. really, but um, this is from news.mb.com. President Duterte Thursday night placed the entire Metro Manila under a 30 day community quarantine following the local transmission and the rapid increase of coronavirus cases in the country. Yeah. Um, so that's 30 days from today, isn't it? In his address to the public following his meeting, Duterte said domestic land, air and sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended from March 15th to April 14th. So so we've got some friends here Louise, this evening and they had flights booked to Cebu and then like ferries and like, they were planning on doing this whole, we'll see this in the video very soon, we filmed this this evening and all day today actually, but we wanted to get this on tonight because it's happening right now, but they have 
flights booked to Cebu, they have flights booked around the Philippines and ferries and things. Um, and we were saying to them, I really don't know what is going to happen because uh, it's just strange. It, feel, it feels like the Ta'al eruption again. It feels like the whole news articles, the unknown. Yeah, but it's bigger than that. It's like, bigger. It's, it's gone around the world. Yeah. There's travel bans on the whole world. In our lifetime, we haven't seen anything like this. Never. That's part of the reason we want to make this video is to kind of document this happening right now in this time. Yeah. And it's crazy. I don't know. We want you guys to use the comment section as a yeah. place to discuss this. That's the main. That's the main um, point of uploading this video tonight. Is that us? We're reading things. We're hearing things. You guys are amazing in our DMs on Instagram, telling us what's going on. Yeah. But what is really happening? Like we need to get in the comment section of this video and just chat. Um, and just figure out exactly what the deal is, what dates the travel bans are from. Yeah. Um, are we actually banned from driving out of Manila? Like, is someone going to stop us? Like, what, yeah, what's we, going on here? <laughs> we have a road trip planned. Yeah. We have a trip planned where we're driving on the NLEX. And way north. We're not sure if we're going to be able to now. do that or, uh, with trying to think about our visas and stuff like that. The president added here that the public should not just brush the issue of COVID-19. He did, however, appeal for their cooperation. He said it's a serious note. It is true. Don't belittle it. Don't minimize it. But don't kill yourself with worry because, as I said, this is his words apparently, the government is doing everything to make it at least controllable. We've noticed in our building here, they've covered the small small things but useful things. They've covered the elevator buttons with plastic so they can sanitize that yeah. and wash it every day. You have the temperature uh, taken from your head every time you walk in yeah. and also they spray your hands with hand sanitizer and they kind of stop you from getting into the building until you've gone through that process of checking you're okay to enter. Yeah. Um, we know a lot of people also watch our, these are videos from abroad. So if you're watching from abroad and you want to know what the situation is yeah. like here, it's the same in malls for weeks now. There's been yeah, temperature true. checks. Um, and there's always a huge queue to get into the mall now, isn't there? Because yeah. people have to get their... Te it's not just bag checks like Absolutely. normal. It's temperature, which takes a little while. A lot of public events have been cancelled. Uh, yeah, loads concerts, of events. Concerts, speaking events, conferences, things like that. A lot of those have been postponed or cancelled because of this. They don't want a lot of people gathering in yeah. one place because that can make it easier for coronavirus to spread. And we were in some bars and restaurants this evening that you'll see in a vlog coming very soon. And they are really quiet. Like we were talking to the staff in both of these places and they were saying like, in one place we went, we were the first customers of the whole evening. And we went at like 9 p.m. and we were the yeah. first people there. Like it just shows that people aren't moving around in Metro Manila. People are staying in, um, people are getting called off from work, offices are being shut down. Like it's actually happening. Um, it's a very, very real thing. It's scary. Uh, like, I'm quite for, scared. For, like. Yeah, for tourism as well, for a lot of places, not, not just in the Philippines, but different countries. Yeah. A lot of them who rely on tourism and travel, uh, business is down already. Mm. Um, it, I don't know, it's affecting, it's affecting the whole world. It's a big thing. We wanted to make this video to tell you guys what's happening right now in Metro Manila with the lockdown. The president is saying don't use the word lockdown. It's they're doing it for the safety of the people, which we totally understand. But it is a lockdown, isn't it? Like whether you want to call it that or not, that sounds quite negative, but it can be, I guess a lockdown means that people are like containing themselves in their own homes, which means that it's not going to be spread. So it is a positive, at least something's being done, at least, um, at least it's a it's a way of stopping the virus being spread. So I don't think lockdown is necessarily a negative thing. I mean, it's yeah. not good for tourism, um, but I feel like in times like this, people's actual health matters more and 100%. it's people actually like, surviving yeah. this thing. Health matters matters more than our road trip, matters more than people getting their flights, matters people Definitely. more than traveling and yeah. vloggers and travel videos and everything like that in our kind of world. Yeah. Health and well-being of people means more than all of that. So, so we just wanted to make this video for you guys to um, comment if you have any more information on what is actually going on because there's still conflicting news articles. We're pretty sure Metro Manila is under this 30 day kind of lockdown in and out. So we'll keep you guys updated on the channel and thanks for watching if you're watching this video. Please comment on this video if you've got any more information or send us DMs on our Instagram accounts because we're always looking at our DMs um, for any updates on this. So please head over there and give us a message now. Stay safe, wash your hands, follow all the advice that's coming out, the hand sanitizer. Thank you for watching this video. We hope, I mean, maybe it's given some uh, more information for you guys than you already knew. Maybe it's been totally useless because you already know everything we've said because um, we're just kind of reading the news articles. But we would love for you guys to get in the comments and give us some more information on what's going on like we said use this comment section as a little bit of a 
forum as a little bit of a talking hub to find out exactly what the deal is, exactly what the dates are that it's in lockdown. Um, and yeah, we'll speak to you guys very soon in another video. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.